Hey guys, this is Aaron. So welcome to my vlog video today. So in today's video, I will go ahead and do a um, Q and A video. So I will have a, I will have a couple questions and uh, I will be answering them. So it's another, so it's a f good and fun way to, you know, get to know me. And I've done, I've done about um, three of them so far. So this is um, Q and A session four. So let's go ahead and get started. But before I, be, but before ahead, I go ahead and do that. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out more of my um, vlogs and all of my content on my YouTube channel. It's all on there, so go ahead and check it out. So I also wanted to share, um, and then we'll go ahead and dive into the questions. Um, I do want to. I do want to say that, you know, life has been so busy, especially with work and also just being with my family in general. But, you know, yeah, like I said, life has been, it has its ups and downs, but, you know, I'm definitely hanging in there and I will continue to, you know, go forth and go forward and, you know, just try to make the best of it. All right, so I have in front of me our 16 questions. So I'll probably answer like six of them for, uh, for today's Q&A. So we'll go ahead and get started. So the first one is, if you could live anywhere, where would that be? Um, if I could live anywhere, it would probably be It'll probably be by the in the Bay Area. In the Bay Area, or at the beach somewhere, I will definitely live there because you know we have the large, we have the big ocean, and it's you know pretty nice weather over there. And you know I just like you know it's just nice living by the beach. So I don't mind living there. I think it's pretty cool, and it's also nice just to you know not stay in the valley for for a long time. So. So yeah, if I would if I were to live anywhere, it would probably be in the Bay Area or at the beach. Okay, next question is how many pairs of shoes do you have? So I have I have two pairs of shoes actually. Um, my one my one pair of shoes would be tennis shoes. I have a pair of those. I, I have a I have a pair of non-slip shoes that I wear to work. And I also have a pair of sandals, but um, it's not really shoes, it's just sandals, so I have that also. Um, but mostly uh, when it comes to a pair of shoes, it's, I have, it's one pair of tennis shoes and one pair of non slip shoes, so definitely uh, two of them. Um, do, you, do, you like, do you like scary movies? Scary movies? I'm not really a fan of scary movies. Um, you know, it's not really my favorite genre, so I'm not really a big fan of them, uh, but I do like watching, you know, action movies or comedy movies or adventure movies, um, stuff like that. So, horror movies, it's not really, I'm not really a big fan of them. Okay, my fourth one is, what's my fav- what's your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday would have to be Christmas. Um, Christmas because, you know, we're celebrating the birth of Jesus and also I like, I like looking at the uh, Christmas lights that, um, that we see and um, also we get presents and we have Christmas parties and we just get to spend time with family and friends so, so that's what, that's what I like about Christmas. Christmas is pretty fun. So that's why, you know, Christmas is my favorite holiday. Um, okay, have you ever cried at a film? Honestly, yes, I do remember the one time when, when I was a little kid, I was watching The Lion King, um, and I remember the scene when Mufasa died and when Simba cried, you know, that made me, that made me tear up as well because it was really sad and, you know, the, it's just that, like, the background music came in and it's just like, you know, you were like, it's just, Really, it was a really an intense and sad moment. 
So I remember when, you know, Simba was crying because of his father died in the Stampede Gorge. And I just thought that was really sad and heartbreaking. So I really felt that. Um, so yeah, that was, that's one of the things I do remember when I, when I cried at film. And finally, my last question is, um, who would your, who would be your ideal partner? Okay, so this is interesting because like I've been single for a very, 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 very long time. And if I were to have an ideal partner, it will probably be somebody that's really, you know, caring, loving, um, also that has a good education. Also, you know, he is, he has a good stable job and plus like he, and plus like, you know, that person knows how to, you know, to, you know, treat, you know, to treat people the right way. Also, you know, just to, and also they, they need to know like, you know, how to, you know, just to how to have fun at times and also, but also be like, you know, be chill, understanding and everything. So that's what my ideal partner would be. Hopefully I will, hopefully I'll find that, I'll, I will find that special somebody soon. I don't know exactly when yet, but um, you know, I'll just have to see. Okay, so that is all of my questions for today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you can go ahead and check, like I said, check out my other videos if you haven't already. They are in my YouTube channel as well. Um, and other than that, I will see you guys in my next vlog. Um, it can be another Q&A or it could be, you know, it can be something different. You know, we'll just have to see. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching my Q&A video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Alrighty. Bye. Take care.